Hey there guys, welcome back, it's Tara and I've got a little mini haul for you guys. Um, I guess it's mini but I think it's more one of those hauls where it's just like a mishmash of everything and there's not like a particularly large amount of any one thing, it's just completely random and I think all YouTubers have that like predicament of will I do a haul, will I, won't I? But I just thought that it would be a fun video to put up for you guys and you guys seem to always enjoy my hauls and of course I like to get your feedback on um, some of the products that I've bought and what you think of them and your suggestions and stuff like that so I'm going to speed through it like I said it's a mishmash of everything there's cosmetics a little bit of clothing a little bit of accessories just everything in there but I'm going to try and keep it short and sweet for you guys first thing I'm going to start with is um, this little random top shop bag that is full well not full but has some beauty bits and bobs because um, Boots had a buy one get one half price kind of sale I guess summer sale and some stuff was just regularly discounted like half price or a third off and things like that so I decided to stock up on some of the things that I know that I'll need to restock on um, pretty soon so the first thing that I bought was Dr. Jarrett's premium beauty balm or BB cream multi-action skincare and makeup and you guys know I'm a huge fan of this particular BB cream from Dr. Jarrett it's a 40ml tube and I still haven't run out of my other one. I've been using it pretty much nearly every day for the past 6 or 7 months and it's still not gone yet. So it's definitely worth the price tag. But I decided, you know what, I'm probably going to run out pretty soon. So I decided just to pick up a new one. And I think it's originally £22 and it was down to 15 I believe. So it was something like a third off, I believe. So I picked another one of that up. The next thing that sort of randomly came into my possession is this Tom Ford lip lacquer. I actually did a review of this but it's basically just a really super kind of sheeny gloss and it just looks like this. It's nearly clear um, and I don't know it's just a little little pot of luxury right here. Not usually something that I would pick for myself but it actually does look amazing on the lips and I did a full blog post on this about what it looks like on your lips bare and on top of other kind of matte lipsticks and it looks absolutely amazing so if you're really into kind of celebrity recreational sort of looks or recreational recreating celebrity sort of looks I think this is definitely one that's probably in a lot of makeup artists bag the effect of it is pretty cool so I'll put that in the down bar for you guys if you want to see like swatches and it more close up but I thought I would mention it on here as well the next thing I got was, um, again if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that I got this and it is the most perfect mascara in the world, it's my favourite, you know I always rave about it, it's Shiseido's Perfect Mascara, Defining Volume, Gorgeously Full, Strikingly Lustrous, Perfect Mascara and I got it in black, so it is the yeah Perfect Mascara Defining Volume, they have a few different versions of the Perfect Mascara but this one is my favourite haven't done a full review on this yet because I always do just mini reviews but I mean summed up if you need to curl your eyelashes a lot this hose curl like no other especially if you have Asian lashes it's an Asian brand it works really well on those kind of lashes and just holds the curl all day and it's also very buildable in length and volume and it's just an all around great uh, mascara that stays put you do need a fairly strong eye makeup remover to get this off I would recommend an oil based one but it's a great mascara and I would definitely recommend um, people use it if you need to curl your eyelashes every day because that is such a terrible like task to be faced with every morning and the last thing you want is your mascara just sagging right back down and your eyelashes dropping so excellent excellent purchase and these like it just gets better with age I also picked up two Kate Moss by Rimmel lipsticks which I will show you a close up of. One um, is number 16 which I have on my lips today and it just is a gorgeous kind of peachy, carly pink, more on the pink side and I find it really suits my skin tone without making my teeth too yellow or without making my lips disappear which you guys know is like a big problem for me and like carly lipsticks or peachy lipsticks I just always think they're going to work for me and they never do but this one is really really beautiful it's just the right amount of pink to kind of show up on my lips and still look flattering so I absolutely love that one it's a really great colour for summer I think it has a bit of a watermelony flavour and it's a bit of a kind of watermelon colour I think which I absolutely love and then I also got an old favourite which is a 03, which is just the perfect like Kim Kardashian 
nude if any of you are interested in those sort of colours. It's an absolutely gorgeous nude for a more tanned or olive skinned person because it doesn't wash you out but it still is neutral enough to go with any sort of eye makeup or cheek makeup that you want. I'm about to show you two palettes. The first one is Bourjois So Lac Glossy which just looks like this. It's a little mint green sort of colour and again for me this is like, to me anyway, this is like the perfect mint green, it's the perfect amount, it's more on the greeny side of mint green, I know um, mint, mint Candy Apple by Essie looks a little bit more bluey than this, but this is absolutely gorgeous, again, complements a tan, very close to um, like a pastel-y colour, which obviously complements the tan too, and I just absolutely love the colour of this, and I've heard great things about the bourgeois nail polishes, and I know I really like the brushes on these, um, but I don't know, it says it lasts up to 10 days, so I'm going to give it a shot and get back to you guys but I I know that these have had like really good recommendations and they are pretty expensive so I decided to pick it up while Boots were having the two for one and I also got the another Barry M jelly polish because I absolutely loved the green berry one which you've seen on my lips loads I'm not on my lips on my nails I'm getting so jumbled today guys I'm talking too quickly um but yeah you've seen the green berry one it's like a really dark mint green on my nails before and I absolutely love those polishes they stay on your nails so well without chipping and they feel really strengthening so I decided to get a nice summery kind of orange one and this one is called mango um, and it's a bit darker than an actual mango colour um, but I absolutely love it I was going to get the orange from the bourgeois collection but I just thought that this was a much nicer orange it was more of a true orange and less kind of ready. Top shop, I got a pair of like initial earrings and I can never find the letter T on anything. So um, I got the M ones because you know my surname um, begins with an M. So I got these M shaped ones. I just thought they were really funky and I don't know, I just thought they would look really cool kind of poking out of your hair and things like that. Um, so I got those and they're just like gold little M initials, I don't know if you guys can see. And then I got this random pack of studs and ear cuffs, but I pretty much only got it for the ear cuffs here down at the bottom because I think they look really cool just kind of hanging um, in between, like in the middle of your ear, just right here, kind of, I don't know what that area is called, kind of just right there, I think they look really, really good. So I really only got it for the cuffs, and I got those in the sale again for 350 I believe these were 350 as well, so pick those up in the sale. I guess this can still come under the category of accessories, but I picked up this really cute kind of lacy bra from Topshop and I got it for a five pounds in the sale which I thought was ridiculously cheap and yeah I just thought these are really really pretty they're really kind of girly and as well they're still opaque enough to wear under sheer tops and just I don't know I think they look really cute kind of poking out under kind of sheer white tees and stuff um, and but they're still opaque enough to actually like cover yourself up and you don't feel like you're exposing too much so I really really like that and then I randomly picked up this in Zara I didn't really get much in the Zara sale this year um, but I picked up this it was 12 99 I really could have done with a size small but I picked up the medium because I just thought the color was really really beautiful again a very mango color that gorgeous in between yellow and orange and yeah, I got it in a size medium. It's a complete basic, um, it's completely plain. It's got these really wide sort of Balenciaga-ish sort of sleeves, but um, it just looks like this, very boyish, very quite shapeless to be honest. But I think you can style it up really nicely. I think in the winter, it'll be a lovely kind of color block piece with a leather skirt, things like that. And in the summer, it's gonna go with some of my more statement skirts that I have that kind of have hints of this color in them as well. I'm sure I'll put together another lookbook for you guys very soon, hopefully. But yeah, I just got that very plain sweater, but it's made of this like neoprene sort of material, which gives it a bit more of a modern edge. A lot of bottoms over the last, like, well, since my last haul. And the first one being, I'm kind of Loving denim again it's been a while since I've kind of gone the whole denim shorts route but this pair I absolutely love and I don't really do the whole hot pants look but these I can just about get away with I think they're a really really nice fit and they just look like this they're from she inside or shen side or whatever you want to call it but they just look like this they've kind of got oh my god they look tiny in the camera I swear to god guys they're not this small 
on your body. Uh, got a bit more of like a vintagey feel to them with the wash, but you guys know I mentioned before I like shorts that kind of have the turn up at the edge of the leg because they give your body a really really nice shape and when they're a bit more sagged in the middle it makes your legs really really good. So I absolutely love this shape and they're quite they're long enough at the back to cover your bum. Well I've quite you know um, a regular to small size behind so they stay in these shorts quite well and I got these in a size large again I think these come in a few sizes these just fit me just right um I mean any any if I was any bigger they would have been too tight on me um I'm not usually a large but again you have to think of Asian sizing Asian sizing is always a little bit smaller but I love Shensai they have some great stuff and I was very glad when they sent me those and they also sent me I've been wearing these so much already I wore these to the zoo quite appropriately yesterday and um, bringing out my animal instinct but they're these amazing cow print shorts and they've just got a little drawstring again very like sports looks say that word so many times I'm really sorry guys but they've just got like the elasticated waist a little drawstring and this gorgeous little cow print on it and a little pocket at the back at the rear and um, cow print is one of those things I think you either love it or hate it I like it in small doses and I really love these shorts I wore it with a plain black t-shirt and I absolutely loved how it looked I know they were kind of coming on the scene again last year and they're still in for this year so I know keep your eye out for cow print things I think they're still pretty pretty cool Probably a really fun way to play around with monochrome and I really enjoyed wearing it and rocking it around the zoo yesterday so next thing is sort of a sportswear purchase I don't really know if any of you guys would be interested in it but um I have joined the gym in Belfast I haven't really been that often but I find that buying sportswear is definitely a motivation to go exercising um, and as you know I'm quite into kind of running and jogging at the moment so um, I saw these in lifestyle sports I think I haven't seen them in many many sports shops in Belfast but I specifically went looking for them and they're these Nike um, neon shorts they've just got an orange kind of a neon orange sort of I don't know like side stripe thing and then they're neon pink the whole thing is neon pink and it also has that sort of insert that sort of looks like underwear so that nobody will see up your shorts when you're running or you're doing various activities and yeah I thought these were really cool and they're really lightweight really comfortable and I think they were about £22 and I got student discount on them so I got them for £18 in the end which I thought was fairly reasonable and last but not least I finally got this I've been waiting to get this for so long I got this delivered to Cork instead of Belfast I know I'm an idiot but I can't wait to style these up in like a lookbook or something for you guys because I love them and it's my first purchase from Goodnight Macaroon and or Macaron Macaroon I think it's Macaroon I'll put the link in the down bar for you guys but it is this denim skirt and I know it looks really just plain and I don't know not that interesting but it has these gorgeous little kind of triangles cut out of the front and it is quite a mini mini denim skirt I got mine in a size medium for anyone that's wondering I'm about a size 10 and I absolutely adore it and um, I know I'm kind of hit or miss with denim I think you need to be really careful with it so it doesn't look just naff but this is absolutely the most gorgeous little flattering skirt ever and then the fact that it has these little kind of triangles cut out of it it looks really really cute on your leg because the skirt isn't too long and you really notice this detail on your thigh so I absolutely love these and again they weren't too expensive so I will be sure to style these up for you guys and let you know how they look because I adore them and I know I'm going to be wearing those a hell of a lot and they just cut perfectly on your thighs they're not too long they're not too short it's just perfecto so that was my little mini haul of randomness for you guys i hope you enjoyed it um i like watching these hauls from time to time so i'm saving up for new york now like big time i'm saving up quite a lot i did make one big purchase because i really needed a treat well i thought i deserved a treat for myself so that will probably be in the videos to come my wee little big purchase for myself so I think you'll be excited to see that hardcore save 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 because I am going nuts and I, I haven't been doing that much shopping because I really don't see the point in spending my money here but I know I can get it so much cheaper in New York so 
Yeah, if you have any recommendations of alternative things for me to do while I'm over there, please leave them in the comments bar below. I love visiting like less obvious kind of tourist spots, so please do let me know your favourite thrift shops, your favourite tourist attractions, where to eat. I want to know it all because I am like the biggest tourist ever and I love traveling so let me know all your suggestions in the down bar especially if you're from New York because New Yorkers know the best of everything obviously because it's your backyard. Please don't forget to like it if you want to and obviously subscribe to me for more fashion and beauty bits and bobs and more rambly craziness. I'll see you in my next video and as always peace out.